here than sometimes I'm walking here in the back and you can hear a lot of flapping around. Sometimes I forget it's the ducks. Look at them. Look at them. So excited to be in the water. Ever since the accident, we've been home, so the ducks get to be outside and they don't have to be in their pen. And they're loving being here in the creek, no matter how cold it is. Breathe air. Breathe. What is this? What? 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 <laughs> so silly. Where do you think you're going? You're gonna be an adventurer and go by yourself? Well, you do you, girlfriend. You do you. Remember? That was the child that you stole from her. You decided that she wasn't going to be a good mom and you stole the little black girl? You do remember. Yeah, don't act that upset now. You stole that child. She only had two babies and this one right here, she stole the two babies. Like, stole them. She would beat this one down so much so she would give up with the babies. And the babies would come and look for her. So this one became very independent, as you can see. She's been in her best life. I don't know how good this angle is, but I was trying to do it in here and it's kind of dark. So let me explain. I was training the girls um, for the month of December, we had the accident on the 15th, so I was training them until the 14th, and it was going great. One of the things that I've been doing is keeping an eye on Athene and making sure that she's gaining enough weight to be okay uh, during pregnancy. They have to be at least 40 pounds, Nigerian dwarfs need to, or 45 to make sure that they are safe in their weight to get pregnant, and Athene got to that weight pretty fast. The only problem that I found after the accident when I started to do this routine again is that when I checked her weight, she lost five pounds. You're done, sweet girl. After she's done, she starts shaking. I'm telling you, she is so silly, but she's so cute, just like her daddy. Okay, you're not even close to him. Okay, you can go outside with your mama if you want. I'm not used to checking your goat's weights because either you don't have a scale or you know you just don't do it you probably are not aware of some of the changes that are happening and it to me if it wasn't because of the scale I wouldn't have been able to spot it I'm assuming that what happened to Athene is that she is um, I'm assuming that she was stressed for the time that I wasn't here. Uh, she's kind of used to our routine, as Clara is, and once you change their routine, they kind of freak out. Um, they either don't listen to you, um, they, you know, it's time to go in, they just want to be outside. If they're outside, they want to go in. You know, changing routine for goats is always hard, but for Clara and Athene, it's especially hard. And because of the time of the year that we're in, she's really fluffy, Athene is. Well, everyone is, but you know, if I wasn't putting her on the scale, I wouldn't have noticed that she lost those five pounds that really are concerning me. So training Athene to the stand, which she is such a pro, she kind of misses where the head goes, but other than that, she's a pro. Um, it's been going great. She lets me touch her udder, she's not squatting, maybe opening her legs a little bit more, but you know, the eating part is the one that is concerning me. She is hungry, she is healthy. I just check her FAMACHA score to make sure that she doesn't have any kind of worms that may be the reason why she's losing weight. I gave her her copper yesterday, so in the end, 
I mean, technically she is healthy. I just don't understand what happened to those five pounds. And trust me, I weigh myself. I put the number down and then I grab her and I weigh myself again, subtract my weight and that's how I get her weight because she's still small enough to do that. I did that with my daughter, she did it and herself and then I did it and still she lost five pounds. So there's no margin of error there. Look at your daddy's girl. Yes, you are. Where your daddy's girl? You're so pretty. Yes. And you're so sweet. And so calm. Huh? Are you the sweetest girl? I think you are. Say hi. My name is Athene. And I am a pretty girl. Yes, you are. She has the prettiest brown eyelashes. Maybe you can look at them right there. She is due to have her own baby, May 14th. It's concerning because if anything, she should be gaining weight. And the idea of breeding them at about nine months old, it just means that they're old enough and that they will continue to grow with their pregnancy. Now, Athena is going to be, well, today she's one month um, along. So she didn't come back into heat after her heat on December 20th. Today is January 20th. So it means she's, uh, I think, four weeks and three days into her pregnancy. So I'm just going to give her some extra Food. I'll make sure that she'll get not only grain but alfalfa pellets to kind of help her with the weight and I'm gonna continue to check every week or every 10 days to make sure she's gaining that weight back and not only that that she's putting on some weight now right now those babies are tiny so I don't expect her to have a lot of baby weight at this point they're just you know one month it's really to tell even from um, you know, seasoned dough to tell that they're pregnant or not, or not with one month of pregnancy. But I just worry that herself, she's not putting weight on herself. So hopefully it was just the stress of changing the routine, me not being here, me not putting her on the stand to give her some extra goodies. And hopefully that's all it is, but if not, then I have to um, make a decision and kind of be on it. Because the last thing I want is for her to have a hard pregnancy or to have a hard delivery. That's not what I want for her. And in case some people say to wait until 18 months old for those to breed them, in my experience, based on what my vet has been telling me, dairy goats are meant to be bred as soon as they are a healthy weight and they're healthy themselves, uh, which typically is between 8 months old and 12 months old, depending on when they hit their weight. So it's not that we bred her early. She is big enough, she's old enough, and she's wide enough to do this. She has a really long rump, which is making me think that she won't have a problem as far as kidding, but I do have to keep an eye on the weight problem. Oh my goodness. We love baby girls. Huh? This color is getting kind of tiny on you. You were a little girl, we would like, oh, here she comes. We could hear you coming. You need a new color. A new bigger color. Yes, because now you're a big girl. You're a mama now, right? Look at my sweet boy over there. <gasps> Bless you. What are you, the Lion King now? <laughs> Oi, you're such a handsome boy. Hi, pretty golly. Hi, pretty. Hi, pretty, pretty. Oi, what is that? Is that a duckling? Oh no, we don't like ducklings. We definitely do not like ducklings. Right? Very pretty, just like your mama. Yes. Just 
Mira que mama, you pretty. Oh goodness gracious, that is Aria, my pretty girl. Who is that? Yeah, pretty girl. Oh goodness, that is a pretty girl. Belly full of children. Oh, children, 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 children. Oh, we love children. The question is, are you gonna love children? Hmm? You gonna be a good mom? Okay, okay, got it. Can you talk to your baby now? Say something. Sometimes I catch her talking to her baby. She'll bite her right side and then she'll be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You talking to your baby? Do you know you have babies in the belly? Yes, she does. She does know that she has children in the belly, right? Yeah, are those children being a pain? Bothering little Bri Bri. I'm sorry, Briar. Those children are gonna be so cute, though. They're gonna have pretty eyes like their mama. Yes. Yes, but you have pretty eyes, girl. Pretty eyes. They're gonna be sweet, just like their mama. Pretty colors. You gonna give me a baby girl? You're thinking about it? Good. I don't want them to be all boys. I want all the girlies from the beautiful girlie. Not you, right? You're pretty. You're pretty. Well, thanks for the kisses. I always love your kisses. Yes, ma'am. Love your kisses. <laughs> You're just weird. What's happening? What's all the fuss about? Okay. By all means, come back from the creek. Have a great day.